It's been so funny. This entire weekend, I've just felt like it's just been a big party. Like, it's just all our favorite people here. It's been such an amazing, amazing weekend with our favorite people, and it's been a party. And now, it's starting to get real. I get to marry my best friend. <laughs> and I'm starting, it's starting to hit me just now, getting ready with my girls, which is funny because it's, it's been leading up to this for so long, but I think it's just now hitting me. And I can't wait to marry this man. I was, my hands were shaking real bad when I was writing the vows, and my hands were so sweaty that I was smudging the words. So it'll be, a, it'll be interesting to see if I can actually read them by the, by the time that we get to that part of the ceremony, but um, just excited, just so excited to have people that we handpicked to be here, and I'm just expected to see how the Lord's going to use the ceremony and to just see what He can do with it, and uh, I just hope that we can give Him as much time as possible, as much of the stage as possible, and that we may minimize ourselves so that His name can be made great, because that's what people are going to remember. get his act together and finally ask her out. Us Moxley men might be a little slow on the uptake, but we get what we're after in the end. Can I get a ride on on that one? <laughs> Despite this, I promise to be attentive to you. I promise to be excited about what excites you. Go Chiefs, right? <laughs> as well as greeting you in the hard moments, in life, in both and everything in between, I promise to cover you and our family in prayer. I promise to pursue righteousness, the kind of righteousness that God seeks, which is a commitment to honor you, daily and sometimes hourly when I'm being pulled in the opposite direction. In doing so, I promise to occasionally wash the office with you. <laughs> that I can love you generously and sacrificially because of Christ's love for me.
Taylor Catherine Cobb. Soon to be Moxley, can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> I am so in love with you. Each day you redefine what love means to me. Each day, day you teach me something new about what it means to love and to be loved. Your very nature pushes me to be a better man. The thought of you and your heart pushes and challenges me to pursue the Lord harder and to find more about what it means to lead like Jesus. You make me want to know Him better. You make me want to trust Him with more of my life. You make me more desperate for Christ because I know that only there will I find the ability to love you like you truly deserve. To say that you are the woman of my dreams seems so wildly inadequate now. I thought you were the woman of my dreams a long time ago. And I have since learned that the Lord's plans for my life are so vastly superior to anything that I could dare dream up. He's revealed more of his heart to me through you than I could possibly have imagined when I first met you that I, and then when I first told you I loved you. He has shown me oops, sorry, that my ability to dream is just another box that I cannot possibly fit him into. I always knew that you were out of my league, but it's as if the Lord feels the need to give me a daily reminder of just how out of my league you are. <laughs> he reveals more of your heart for Jesus and your sweet, compassionate nature every day. And every day I pray that the Lord would continue to allow us to live in this fantasy where a guy like me gets to be with a girl like you. You have qualities that I never knew I could ask for in a life partner, and I cannot wait to do life with my best friend. God bless you and keep you and give you his peace. Amen. What God has joined together, let no man separate. Zane, you may kiss your bride. <laughs>